Now at 6, as the world waits to see if peace is possible with North Korea, today's TMJ4 is the only local station in the Oval Office with President Trump. Charles Benson was part of an exclusive meeting today. The meeting comes amid doubt of whether or not the president will meet with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Charles, what can you tell us? Good evening from the White House. Yes, and those doubts remain at this hour on whether or not this summit is going to take place. It is scheduled to happen between the U.S., President Trump, and North Korea's leader three weeks from today. But yes, I had a, ch a chance, an opportunity to sit down in the Oval Office with nine other reporters from around the country. It was a 30-minute meeting with the president in what is known as an OTR, an off-the-record conversation. So no cameras, no pictures. But I want to give you a sense of what my day was like here at the White House. Take a look. I'm inside the White House briefing room right now. You can see it's filled with reporters getting ready for the daily briefing from Sarah Sanders. And then it's right after this, we see the president. And now it's over. We were there 30 minutes with the president in what is known as an OTR, off the record conversation. So it was a busy day here. So it was a busy day here. Most of the news focused on this meeting between President Trump and South Korea's president, Moon Jae-in. You can look as he arrived here at the West Wing. This was an opportunity for President Trump to talk to the South Korea president, President Moon, about this opportunity to meet with North Korea. Uh, president Moon has been instrumental in trying to move diplomacy along here between the U.S and North Korea. But again, many people remaining skeptical here in Washington and even at the White House. Here's what the president told reporters while meeting with President Moon. There's a very substantial chance that it won't work out, and that's okay. That doesn't mean it won't work out over a period of time. So a lot of unknowns here as the president prepares for this summit three weeks from today. Uh, this has been a big issue for even voters across the country, monitoring what the president does on these talks as he tries to get peace and denuclearization with North Korea. I had a chance to talk with the Wisconsin delegation on what they think as the president prepares for this summit. So I think the president has brought the North uh, Koreans to the table. Now, listen, they're liars and they're cheaters, uh, so we can't put a lot of faith in what they say. But um, I think we're making progress because sanctions have been so effective against the North Koreans. There are a lot of preconditions. There's a lot of work uh, on the diplomatic, uh, uh, in the diplomatic arena that needs to be done that has not been done. Uh, and so you have to, 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 to wonder how we'll accomplish uh, anything in three weeks other than a photo op. So both sides of the aisle, Steve and Shannon, keeping a close eye on what happens here, specifically what will happen in the next three weeks and whether or not that summit will take place in Singapore. Charles, and all the, uh, the lead up, all the back and forth trying to set up this summit, has there been a one-on-one -on -one communication between Trump and Kim? So that's been the interesting point here. Uh, even as the president was with President Moon, that question did come up with poll reporters, and he declined to answer that. So, so far, we don't know if there has been any direct conversation between President Trump and North Korea's leader, Kim. Live at the White House, Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. Charles, thanks for the insight.